review. My name is Color Tops and I am now doing all of Curl's new hair reviews. Basically what we are gonna talk about today is the true and real invisible part wig, boo boo. That's right. <laughs> here it is right here. I wanted to show it to you guys before we go into the um, video tutorial. And it is so beautiful. She cut it into like this bob that has one side short, one side long with some deep layers. And look at this, it is an invisible part on top of a wig. Which means you ain't got to worry about no glue getting on that hair. Okay. Um, the hair that she used was the XQ Her number one by Milky Way. And she lifted it. Um, and it basically looks like a number two with some number four highlights. This thing is beauty must, and it is the best way to go now for doing your invisible parts, okay? So, like I said, my name is Color Tops. If you want to see more of me and more of what Curl is doing, check out the C Corner Talk Show, you guys. Men's and women's. Trust me, you will enjoy it. Now we're going to go into the video tutorial. Take care. Bye-bye. All right, we're going to start out doing our quick weave. Put on a shower cap. Make sure you put on your fitted cap over that. I prefer to use the Proclaim fitted cap. We're going to use the Bonda Weave um, by Liquid Gold. I'm going to be trying this today. Um, so you're going to make an outline of where you want to put the stocking cap. And this is the only part that you're going to use. The rest of the excess you're going to cut. So if you're familiar with full lace wigs, if, if you're familiar with silk top, it's kind of like what you're creating. You're kind of doing like you're a homemade silk top. You're going to blow dry it so that it'll stick to it. If you need to put more on, just do that. You can put it right on top of it because it'll seep through. And then um, you can blow dry it some more. The little spout or the tip for the liquid gold is easier than the brush, but this stuff is still so sticky and messy. Sorry, I thought I was recording that part, but you see what I did. So all you're going to do is just cut around, cut around where that stocking cap is, and just cut out all the excess, the part that's not glued down. Now we've started doing our tracks, and you're just going to layer your tracks as usual, bit by bit. I'm not showing you the cutting process and the gluing just for the sake of time. The only part you're not seeing is me cutting the track and putting glue on it, which you probably don't want to see anyways. <laughs> and you're just going to layer your tracks as so. Um, these, um, the hair that I'm using, um, it's the XQ. It's by... Um, it's the XQ brand by Milky Way and I honestly it worked for this but I wouldn't buy the XQ brand I did another wig with the rain by Milky Way and I really like that my favorite hair if I'm ever gonna buy it from a beauty supply store still is Bobby Boss I love the Bobby Boss hair but I wanted to try to use something different a little bit cheaper just as I experimented with this wig because I've never done this before so this is my first time doing a wig like this with an invisible part on the wig. So I wanted to get good hair, but I didn't want to pay like $300 for two packs of hair. I'm probably, being that the XQ Air's double um, is not single left, um, I think I'm doing like an inch and a half apart probably per track and as you can see I'm just going from the part I'm just going kind of like from the back of the ear I'm purposely not doing the sides um, I, I find it better to do the back more so and then fill in with the sides because I need less hair on the sides than I do in the back I think I have a big head some people say I do, some people say I don't. But I find that when you're filling in from the back of the head, it takes way more hair. And so instead of bringing those tracks all the way around and just having a whole lot of hair in your head, I have figured that for me, it works that I fill in the back part first and then fill in the sides. If 
you would like to try this method, I suggest you give it a try. It may work for you too. It gives it more of a natural look. It still it still is full, um, but it's not like a head big. It's just not full of weave, like a hat on your head. Now I'm going to start shaping it. You can either wait to do your do all of your tracks and shape it, but because this is my first time doing this, I want to shape the back first without any excess hair in the way. So I want to start getting my angle and everything because I'm doing it um, one side long and one side short and I want the short side to kind of be rounded into the long. Now know with this it does take time. I mean this video I've sped it up um, quite a bit but this does take time so take your time when you're cutting. You know I tend to think that I do pretty good hair and pretty good weaves but I'm still not a you know beautician but it doesn't whether if you're a beautician or you're just naturally good at hair when you're cutting on your own head it takes time and it's not that easy at all. <laughs> So take your time, you know, and just get it to your liking. This is just an example of the way I did it. You know, you may want to cut it like this. You may not want to cut it like this. I'm doing layers and everything. Um, but you have to find out what fits best for your head shape. That's one thing I've learned too. For your head shape and your body type, you have to figure out what works best for you. I really like using razors. If you are familiar with using razors, I suggest you do that. It gives it more of a sharp look um, to me at times than scissors does, and it's quicker than scissors because that razor just just zap it away. Um, but you have to be familiar and good with razor. You still need your scissors to trim up and help you. Um, but if you're good with the razor, I would say go ahead on and do that. I love using the razor. And I'm just trying to get a formation and a shape, um, just to kind of, you know, get an outline. And then from there, I'll kind of create the final look. But I'm also using the razor for thinning the hair. Um, the razor comb for thinning the hair out. What I figured out later on in this episode is you can do the same thing with the other razor, the motor razor. Or the electrical razor. As you can see, I'm just adding layers to it to my desire. With this type of style, layers just seem to add more of an edge and make the style more fierce. And I'm not doing light layers, I'm doing um, pretty deep layers. So that way when I curl it, the layers are very defined and it just shapes the hair like perfect. And even though this video is sped up, you can see like how much time it takes it took me a little while to do this style but it was worth it so now I'm going to the other side now on the longer side my layers are not going to be that deep so let me clarify that my layers are more deep on the shorter side but on the longer side um, as I get to you know my shoulder um, on the layers are more light but from the short side all the way to the back um, there it's deep layers but the long hair hanging is more light layers now here's the thing and the great thing with doing a weave you can even see being that it's my first time my layers aren't that even <laughs> like if you look in the back but once you curl it you really won't be able to tell um, I just, like I said, did another wig and I did a much better job um, at doing it um, in the back just with using the mirror and also using the electric razor. 
but like I said, if your layers aren't perfect and if they look a little choppy, you don't want them too choppy. That's why you want to use the razor comb. But, you know, if they don't look too perfect, it's okay. Once you curl it, you won't be able to tell a difference. Excuse my bra strap, you guys. I'm just saying that right now because they're going to reveal themselves throughout the video. They just want to be seen. So I apologize for their rudeness. <laughs> Now I'm going back and filling in the sides. And if you look, even though this video is sped up, I, you can see like I don't need as many tracks as I did in the back. Like in the back, I used several tracks. On the sides, not as many as all. And I love that I figured this out because it gives it more of that natural look. And it's kind of like the way it is with the hair. It always seems like the crown in the back area is so much more thicker than your sides in the front for several people. So it just, like I said, makes it look more natural and not heavy. As you see, I'm using my scissors some with this liquid gold because it's so sticky and messy. Oh my gosh, so sticky and messy. I like it because it's clear, but I'm, I'll just say this in this video, I prefer to use, I prefer to use just the regular um, black, the regular black um, bonding glue. I also found out that it holds just a little bit better, ironically, than liquid gold. And maybe it could be it holds better because of the cap. Maybe the liquid gold does better on a scalp than a cap. But for a cap, I think I think for me, it seems as if the um, black bonding glue holds better. Now I know there's the white bonding glue. I will have to experiment and try to use that on another style and see how that works because I know that dries clear as well. So I'm getting to the end of um, layering my tracks before I get to the invisible part. And so in order to see how I do the invisible part and finish styling my hair, you have to go to my new talk show, the Sea Corner Talk Show, airing now on YouTube. And you can see the final product and how to do an invisible part on a wig without cutting the stocking cap. Alright, check out the Sea Corner Talk Show to see the final product.